Now, I am terrified of heights, but have you ever heard of geophobia? It's no joke, it's a fear of cakes. Our next guest, Rachel Lee, knows all about the condition. She's been living with it for almost all of her life. She's determined to try and conquer her fear because she wants to share wedding cake with her husband on their special wedding day. And she's here with psychologist Joe Hemmings. Very good morning to you both. Rachel, this, I mean, when people hear you have a phobia of cake, they're going to think that you're joking. Yeah. This is actually a serious psychological yeah. condition for you, isn't yeah. it? Okay, yeah. so what happened? Why, have you, why are you afraid of cake? Um, I had it when I was a toddler and I was sick. Um, haven't eaten it since. Um, you were simply sick or you choked? I was sick. I was just sick. Um, and then when I got to five year old, went to birthday parties, um, it was there, I realised that I was afraid of it. You were afraid of it? Yes. Yeah. I couldn't be in the same room as it. Um, I panicked, cried. Didn't really understand at that age why. Um, but I had to be took out of room. I should say that your arm is in a sling at the moment. Yeah. It's completely unrelated. <laughs> unrelated. I but, haven't jumped but, over tables to get away from it. It's but fine. what is interesting is that you are... Um, a very highly trained kickboxer. I am. You are not someone who experiences fear no. or lets challenges defeat them. No. So you want, on your wedding day, yeah. to be able to overcome your phobia yeah. and eat wedding cake. Yeah. Why not just get a different sort of wedding cake? I mean, people have tears out of cheese or you could have a cheesecake or... Um, I want to be able to be in the same room. I don't think it's fair that everyone else should miss out on having puddings and cakes after the dinners mm. and I want to be able to sit in the same room as them and feel comfortable eating it. I'm going to talk to Joe now yeah. but as we talk to Joe we're going to run some pictures yeah. of cake yeah. but I'm going to tell you that because yeah. you need to look away yeah. while we do that. Yeah. So if you, I mean it's a bit like the football scores, <laughs> yeah. you know look yeah. away now yeah. while we run the pictures yeah. of the cake. Joe, you know I can imagine that some people won't take this seriously because it sounds you know, that's I mean, who could be as scared of cake? Odd phobia, that's right. So, I mean, you know, it's got a name, geophobia. It has something, but... Yeah. Rachel, they've stopped the pictures now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of food-related phobias. Uh, when somebody is suffering from that kind of an irrational fear, it feels very, very real to them. I talked to Rachel earlier, a lot of her symptoms, sweating palms, the fact that she feels deeply anxious, uh, feeling really sort of wobbly, sort of weak-legged, all that, they're typical symptoms of the kind of anxiety disorder that a phobia is. So if it's real to Rachel, then it's real, even though it's one of the more unusual phobias. So for lots of people, it's the equivalent of looking down from the top of a building or seeing a spider or something like that. Most of us can avoid those situations. Rachel has a big event, her wedding. She wants to eat wedding cake with her husband on her wedding day. And why not? What can she do to overcome the phobia? Okay. And when is the wedding, Rachel? <laughs> we don't know yet. We haven't set a date. So I wanted to get but this done in the next first. few months or years, years isn't yeah. it? OK, so you may have years to prepare. Yeah. What can she do? Okay, so there are a number of treatments. The main one, I think, that would suit Rachel uh, is called exposure therapy or desensitisation. So it's a process of getting used to cake. Now, we'd start off perhaps with an image of a cake. We'd talk about cakes. Yeah. Might go on to have a look when you're ha happy yeah. with that. Go on and look at a recipe perhaps for a cake. Um, then when you were happy with that, perhaps go to a bakery. That's sort of how it works. You can see the behind the scenes of a bakery, mm. in the bakery shop, and then even go on to perhaps you making mm. some sort of cake yeah. so that you're progressively introduced to yeah. to cake until you feel comfortable it's exposure, with it. Isn't it? It's and exposure. how uncomfortable, as you hear Joe saying that, does that make you feel? I can yeah. feel my chest tightening up. And <sighs> Sorry. Um, Sorry. No, it's Rachel. fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, very like just the thought of having to do that scares me. You do really it slowly and yeah. progressively, so I'm just putting it together. It's yeah. one thing, and yeah. of course that will make you anxious, yeah. but we'd start very slowly and only move on to the next stage when you're ready. Well, I'll leave you in Joe's capable hands. Yeah. I really appreciate you coming in yeah. to talk to us about it. I mean, yeah. you know, you've explained it very, very clearly, <laughs> and, um, and good luck, because, yeah. you know, I hope you can achieve your dream. Yeah. And good luck with the wedding planning Thank as you. well. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely Thank to you. see you.